lovelies welcome back to my channel so today's video is another mark hill video it's the third and final one of this little mini series that i've done over the course of the week they brought out three new ones the deep waver the uh smoothing brush and the straight and curl i have tested the deep waver and the smoothing brush so i'll link those at the end of the video for you to go and check those out but the one i'm testing today is the straight and curl um, I'm actually so excited to test this one out. Well, I've been excited to test them all out, let's face it. But this one I've been like extra excited for, which is why I've saved it till the end, because I'm kind of hoping it's like the best till last sort of thing. Um, but I'm just going to quickly talk you through the pick and mix range in case you haven't seen my other videos. I picked this up, I think it was... $15.99 however I'll link it down below for you it might be $16.99 their prices vary I think from $14.99 to $15.99 I think um, you can get all different attachments you have just your one base um, and this was $14.99 they also have another one that for, sort of flips over into an L shape um, for the long barrel curls, that's kind of designed for people that have really long hair or extensions. It's just a lot easier to curl your hair um, and they also have an extended barrel tool. They have so many different attachments to create all different waves and styles and all sorts um, that you can literally... This is why I love the range, right? So, one, it's super affordable. It's like £15 a time basically for a different hair styling tool. These I got on offer so they were three for two. So I actually got all three for £33 I think it was. Which is amazing. Um, if you are to buy a new hair tool each time like a smoothing brush or a curler. They're like 30 40 quid. Straighteners go right up to the hundreds. Um, so it's super cost effective and really great for storage and travel because these attachments here you just twist to unlock you pop it off and then you can put your next one in i absolutely love it i think it's just such a brilliant idea i just i'm obsessed with this entire range i have done other videos previously as well so i said this week i've obviously done the deep waver and the smoothing brush previously i've tested the corkscrew curl the mermaid waver and the i think it's called the ellipse waver oh does it say on here but the barrel basically goes like that and it kind of gives you like tussled waves i don't know how to explain it but you can check those out they're all up on my channel as well so let's get this a beauty out of the box and see what it's like this is the leaflet uh by the way it shows how many different attachments you can get um it's just such a genius idea and i am obsessed with it hence why i keep buying so many so i've got like six attachments but it literally takes up no room at all so this is the attachment we're testing today the straight and curl so ow oh my god that's so clever so obviously the idea of it is that you can straighten or curl your hair with it um i'll try and open it so you can see so it's got like the ceramic plates on the inside like a normal straightener so you could just straighten your hair but i think the idea of it is because it's rounded it will curl your hair and it's easier to twist and get a nice curl i usually curl my hair with straighteners anyway these are my ghds and i've literally had them for about 12 years i love them um but it is quite a rounded barrel and i do the same so i feel like for me, this style is perfect. I actually only ever use my straighteners to do just a standard curl in my hair. Um, I don't have just a normal barrel to curl my hair with. It's super easy to attach, by the way. The base just looks like a light bulb. There's little grooves that you pop it in and then you twist the base and it's locked and won't fall out. And then you just flick it on to heat it up. So I washed my hair last night, was it? Yeah, last night, so it's sort of a day old hair basically whilst that's heating up i'm just going to quickly brush through my hair and section it and then i shall be back so my hair is brushed through and i think that has heated up nicely so i'm just going to take my first section And then I'll just twiddle it as well because that's what I usually do after I have curled it anyway. Oh my god! Well, it works! 
I never curl right to the root. I sort of start around here. I like it to have a little bit of gap at the top. So I'll kind of just pull down and then start to twist when I'm ready for the curl to start. The thing I like about this is that it doesn't really pull your hair. So when I did the first curl, it felt like it didn't actually have my hair gripped that well, if that makes sense. I thought, oh, is it going to fall out? But actually, it holds your hair tight enough to pull it through the barrel, but it doesn't actually pull your hair. So it's less damaging, because when I do it with the straighteners, I clamp it myself. So it's sort of the pressure is down to me. And sometimes I do pull some of my hair out or pull it too tight. <laughs> So it's nice that this has the same effect but doesn't pull your hair too much. It's actually really quick as well. And that's the first section done already. So it definitely works. It's really curled it. Oh, I love it so far. So I'm going to speed up this portion, curl the rest of my hair, and I'll come back for the top layers just so you can see the final part of it. And I'll uh, tell you how I get on. I'm loving how it is so far. It's also so easy and super quick to do. It just makes such a good curl. I will obviously style it all properly when I'm finished at the end. The other thing I love is it's really easy to do sort of either way. So I love my curls turning away from my face. Um, and it's super easy to like turn in either direction, which is fab. I forgot to say, which I always say in my other videos, the other thing I love about this attachment is the wire at the bottom spins round so you don't get caught up. So this is actually like plugged in behind me but I don't get tangled at all because this spins round which is amazing. I have to split this layer in half actually so I'll quickly speed up this bottom layer and I'll be back for the last bit. I actually can't get over how easy this is to use. I was also thinking this would be incredible if you're a hairdresser and you like well yeah even working in a salon i was going to say went on shoots a lot and stuff like that because you can achieve so many different hairstyles and like i said it's easy to travel with easy to store and all that stuff so oh didn't do a very good job of that because i was talking yeah like really easy to travel with really easy to store can achieve so many different hairstyles with all of the attachments it would literally be ideal or if you're um like in a salon and you don't keep all your stuff there you take some stuff home and then bringing your styling tools and whatnot it's literally ideal it's just such a good idea So that is it all curled. I'm going to leave it to just cool down a little bit and then I will brush it through. Um, I personally like to brush my curls through just to kind of blend it all together and give a bit of a softer, more glam kind of wave. You could leave it like this if you wanted to. I mean, look how good it looks. This side of my hair always curls better than this side. I don't know why and it's so annoying. Well, I do know why because my hair is heavier this side. But I'm just going to go over this one here because I want to curl that a little bit higher up. 
and then I will leave it to cool for about five minutes and then I will be back. So it hasn't been five minutes, it's literally been about a minute, but that was enough for it to cool down. None of the hair feels warm now, so that's fine. I find by doing that it helps just set the curls in place a bit better which works out well for me when I brush them through. I think a lot of people are scared of brushing curls out because I think they think it's going to go frizzy or it'll get rid of the curl, the curls will drop or whatever but I prefer how it looks because at the moment my hair is still like very sectioned from where I've done it and curled it. But I mean even like this I'm so happy with the result and it's actually my ma made my hair look really volumized and thick. I don't know how it's done that. But yeah, let's just give it a brush through and see how it looks. Oh my God. I love that. Okay, I am obsessed with how this looks. Oh, it's just the sort of wave that I absolutely love. I've actually got a better effect with that than I do with my straighteners. And I usually love how my straighteners do my curl. But it's just that slightly stronger curl. And I just feel like it's going to last really well. I'll do a little um, twiddle on my stool so you can see. But... How amazing does that look? Right, let's sort it how I would actually wear it. Let's not have all the hair forward. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed and my hair still looks super long even with the curls in. I love it, it's just such a glam, like really bouncy, um, just beautiful curl. I just, oh my God, I love it. That is hands down my favorite attachment, I think out of all of the ones I use, I do love the Mermaid Wave, but that is definitely the one that I will use the most. I'm so impressed with that. This is gonna become like my everyday. It was so quick and easy to use. Like imagine going on a night out and it taking 15 minutes to do your hair. Like how good is that? I'm so impressed with how that has curled my hair and I just absolutely love it. <laughs> Brilliant, this whole Mark Hill hair week has been a right old success. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried any of the pick and mix range, any of the attachments. What are your favourites? Let's have a little chat in the comments. I'd love it if you could subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will hopefully see you in my next video.